final whistle we've been waiting for for a long time. There it goes. Mo Salah's had a magic day, as have Liverpool. A hat trick for the Egyptian. Liverpool were very, very good. Manchester United were terrible. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer will have all the questions to answer now, and maybe some from in the club where there has been something of a protective shield. But after some up and down results, this is humiliation. It's totally Liverpool's day at Old Trafford. They're already seven points clear of Solskjaer's United, only nine games gone. Domestically, their last five games have produced four defeats and a draw, three of them here to Villa, and now Liverpool plus West Ham in the Carabao Cup. There is talent at Old Trafford, but not the team. Liverpool have both. As the scoreline shows here, one that will resonate around the world. Manchester United, nil. Liverpool, five. Pogba sent off to add to the shame for all those connected at Old Trafford. The celebrations will go on long for Liverpool. He looked shell-shocked, didn't he, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer? And, well, he might. Still, a pretty good reception from the United fans, and you have to say the majority have stayed until the bitter end, putting themselves through what was such a turgid afternoon. Questions asked of Jurgen Klopp before the game today. Well, he might react like that because he made those changes. He talked about having to use his squad. He brought in Canate at the back. Cater got another shot in midfield. Jota preferred to Manny in attack. Surely he could not have expected what he saw from his team, particularly in that first 45 minutes when they were just so ruthless in front of goal. He is in the form of his life, it seems right now, isn't he, Mo Salah? Everything he touches turns to goal, scoring in 10 consecutive games now for his club. And that is pretty much... Perfect, Graham, from a Liverpool perspective. From a Liverpool perspective, yeah. I mean, it was just... They were clinical, they were fabulous at times. Um, I think it's one of those... You know, if you're a Liverpool supporter, it's one of those things... I was there that day. I mean, I, I've, I've said before, whenever I've come here to do a Liverpool Man United game, it's never easy for Liverpool coming here. It certainly was today. You got a sense um, of that pretty early on today. Yeah, I, I just really fancy them. I, I just think United are, are vulnerable at this time. They're between two stools, not quite direction, not sure what direction they're going in. Um, and that has to come down to the coaching staff and the manager, obviously. And I think we saw that today. I think, you know, several of the goals were caught between pressing and not pressing. And they really didn't have a game plan. I think for Liverpool, they were fabulous throughout. I think that uh, started brilliant. They got their goals. Man United, a 20 minute period where they looked like they're going to try and get back into the game, nearly getting back into the game. I think Liverpool kept them at arm's length for most of that. And then once the third goal went in, the fourth goal, I mean, it was a sad, sad day for United. But fair play to the supporters, because the vast majority stayed to the very end and supported their team. Still time for some words of wisdom from the manager who has just won his 200th game as Liverpool manager. And follows Shankly and uh, Gerard Houllier in winning successive games here at Old Trafford.